Tesla Oil. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Come out week in and week out. Prophesied the downfall this week of Kingdom Babylon, aka Egypt, aka uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, which is known as America, okay? First and foremost, we'll give all praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechaha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. We are here for the elect and elect only of the 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, the so-called Negroes. Benjamin, the so-called West Indian Jamaicans. Levi, the so-called Haitians. Reuben, the Seminole Indians. Gad, the North American Indians. Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. Simeon, or the Dominicans. Manasseh, the Cubans. Zebulon, the Guatemala, the Panama. Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. Asher is Colombia to Uruguay, and Naphtali is Argentina to Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel who are big brother Yahweh Shai, which is the proper name of the son, right? It's Yahweh Shai, he delivered, right? And the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, okay? He exists, and Yahweh is getting ready to send his son Yahweh Shai back to the planet to restore the order and bring the order back to the nation of Israel, like he, that was one of his promises, man, okay? So he's getting ready to come back and bring that order back, okay? And once again, downtown again, uh, it's funny, it's a little bit more traffic down here than it has been, but it's still, everything is still closed. I uh, just got a news feed in on the news saying that uh, uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow, the city of Little Rock, Slocky. City of Little Rock. Uh, the curfew is going from 10 to uh, 9 o'clock. Now, North Little Rock and Little Rock are different. They have different mayors and everything. So I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know what North Little Rock side is. It could be the same, or it may not be. I don't know if one one side speaking for all, but we have two different uh, sides, two different mayors. So the uh, curfew. We have a curfew tomorrow, which is. It starts at nine o'clock. Uh, let me get this scripture. This is Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, okay? Woe unto them that, that, that decree unrighteous decrees, man. Unrighteous statutes, man, okay? They're telling grown up people to have be in the house at nine o'clock like their kids. This is basically a, a police state, which they have basically put the people in America in prison, okay? Because the same the same comparison, when you have been in prison, it's the same comparison what's going on now, okay? When you're in prison, lights are out at uh, uh, 10 o'clock, okay? You gotta be in your cell, which they tell us you have to be in your, uh, in your home at this particular time. And now they even dropped it down to nine o'clock. Uh, when you're in prison, you can go to the, uh, commissary once or twice a week to, to buy little things you need for yourself which they that's what you have here okay you can go out uh, to the grocery store okay then you have a, 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 a part of that where um, you can go out to handle business if you got business you got to handle appointments which in prison your appointments are if your businesses you got to go to the to the uh, infirmary or if your lawyer comes. So it's the same thing, man. And now that I see they call it curfews, I see more people trying to uh, work out and stuff, man, and exercise. Just like you do on the yard, man. You know? So I'm like, damn, it take them to, to, to lock this place down for people to want to exercise. Man, it's, it's all it's all uh, mind control, man. You go into the word government, that's what it goes into, man. Okay? Control the, the, the base of the mind, okay? It says, woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievances which they have prescribed, which they have prescribed. See, and they do this, man. They do it behind closed doors, man. Right? They make these unrighteous decrees in, in their think tanks and behind these closed doors. And when they bring it out, and once they once they got, they're getting a reaction off the people. The people are basically going by it to the point where uh, here, even here, they even laid off a lot of police officers. The police force ain't even as strong as it was last month. They didn't lay some off. So with less police, the people are basically uh, 
fall in line of what they want to do. So when they fall in line, Esau just gonna keep on. He, it's gonna be a uh, uh, laden, man. It's gonna be one thing on top of another. It's not gonna stop until they earth in it. And this might be them to earth in the microchip, man. Okay. My brother has sent me an article because he, because you know certain places the times are different. But I think nine o'clock, man. And then oh, another one is uh, starting uh, next week. Starting next week. Kids who are in school, you're gonna have a uh, 9 a.m. to a three o'clock p.m. curfew. So they don't want the kids hanging out. You're supposed to be in school. They want you in your house, man. Okay. So they're gonna have a 9 a.m. to three o'clock p.m. curfew. That's starting uh, next week for the kids, man. So, hey, man, Esau locking this thing down. We're in a Polish state right now. The prophecies that we have prophesied about it, our pops have prophesied about it for years and years. They have spoken of Jacob's trouble. Now that time is, is up on us, man. Okay? Look at these motorcycles. Let me get this article that the brother said. sent this to me uh it was out of the dallas dallas uh, news the observer it says lockdown turret collin counties order residents to shelter in place turret and collin county counties issue their own shelter in place orders tuesday morning tarrant county is like is a lot like dallas county Collin County has a hole in it big enough to drive a truck through. Dallas and Turing County counties order require residents to stay home unless they are working at an essential business like a grocery store, a telecom provider, or a delivery service. Going to get food or necessary household supplies or getting out the individual for exercise. That's prison, man. The same thing in prison, man. They let you out there early in the morning to go uh, uh, do license plates or whatever they have you doing in prison. Make license plates or whatnot. You plant vegetables, okay? Work in the field. Then you got your, your business with your lawyer you do, and they let you go to the commissary, like I said, and then they let you out uh, to exercise, okay? This is, this is the same thing in, 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 a, in a state prison penitentiary, man. Okay? Same thing. Ain't nothing different, okay? Collin County's order allows many businesses to remain open, leaving it to the business itself to make sure it complies with Governor Greg Abbott's statewide order. Abbott order intended to slow the advance of novel coronavirus right which we know that this coronavirus is, is basically they just they just making this up man okay it's probably nothing more than a, a common cold which is headed towards a flu and it's funny that they do it in this certain time that's why they say these unrighteous decrees man because they're doing it at this particular time where the allergy season is right here everything is starting to bloom and you got because i had pollen green pollen on my car this morning so if you got allergies guess what you're going to be sneezing and you're going to be uh coughing at this time of the year so when you go in there with that cough they can just tell you you got it if people who listen at this video this is your first time listening tell me name me one person that you know that's died from okay Name somebody that you know that knows somebody, but yet all they do is they put they go on TV and they put uh, they put uh, these actors and these stars on TV to say they got it. Okay, that's all you see, and then they'll tell you well such and such died from it, and it'll always be somebody famous. They probably died of fucking diabetes or a drug overdose. Okay, they ain't dying from no damn coronavirus, man. So this is this is uh, uh man, this is the wickedness of Esau, man. They said they're the border weakness, man. And they're doing all this to eventually go towards uh issue urchin in an RFID microchip, radio frequency identification device, man. Okay. 
and you got certain camps out there, they, they're not even preaching that the RFID chip is a microchip. They trying to say it's a, a Christianity and a philosophy. If that's the case, everybody got it. Because we all fell under that. It's an RFID tag, it's, it's physical. They show you, they show you every day, man. Sweden, Sweden went head up, they went right into it. It's a lot of people in Sweden that got it, okay? But you had an observer, you got people, they basically keep making people stay inside, man. It's called a uh, shelter in place, man. You know? And another article I got yesterday, this is uh, creating a new digital dollar, man. House Finance Service Committee, okay? Uh, it says, as the markets continue to drop and the U.S. looks to Congress for agreement on a massive stimulus package to save the economy from impact of the coronavirus pandemic, the newest offer by House Democrats include a very forwarding look, looking kind of stimulus to create a digital dollar. See, so they're trying to get rid of that paper. That's all, that's all, it's all in the plan, man. To scare you people into not coming out of your homes, to lock you down, which is a martial law effect, and then to get rid of the dollar of uh, uh, the paper money, to take you into a digital currency. And if they take you into a digital currency, guess what? They're not going to need a, a, a credit card no more. They're not going to need the ATM cards or the, the master cards or the Visa cards. They take you into digital currency. It's going to have to be biometric, man. So they're going to issue you a, a microchip, man. If you don't take it, guess what? You're not going to be able to buy or sell, says the scriptures. Okay? But it's going to be a penalty if you take it. It says, to create a digital dollar and the establishment of a digital dollar wallets. And what will send shockwaves through the cryptocurrency and blockchain in industry, particularly for the following central bank digital currencies around the world, this signals the U.S. is serious in establishing the infrastructure for a central bank digital currency, man. Because you remember, like, a year ago, they was in, uh, that wave of cryptocurrency came, Bitcoins and whatnot, okay? But these of them are trying to go further than that, man. They trying to go, uh, they trying to go, they trying to go RFID chip with it, okay? Yeah, I get that in the scriptures. It's Revelations. Revelations 13 and 16, and he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man may buy or sell, save he, save he that had the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name, okay? Yeah, it goes into it, it says it's a mark. When you go into that mark, it's karagma, okay? Now, I'm gonna read that scripture again. I'm gonna go through that scripture. Man, I tell you, man, these times we in there with all this stuff going down, man. I'm gonna tell you, I ain't never had so many damn Edomites wave at me and be so damn nice, man. Hey, it's all, it's too late for that, man. Man, the Lord get ready, the Lord get ready to show back up, man, and set this thing in order. He told you he not gonna meet you as a man. The Lord not gonna meet you. He not gonna meet you as that humble being that he came 2,000 years ago trying to teach the truth and showing miracles. He gonna come as an angelic force, man. That's gonna, that's gonna pounce on the people, man. That's how, that's how your house shot is coming back, man. Okay? Now, I'm gonna go through that girl, again. Go through that uh, art and uh, because man, you got you got camps saying this is not a microchip, man. If it ain't, hey, you gonna, you gonna lead people to death, man. Preaching that false doctrine too, okay? Be not deceived, man. Let no man deceive you, okay? Now. It 
says, he said, and he called it all, both small and great, rich and poor, okay? And then say, he said, he calls it. Now I'm gonna go look up that word. He called it, the he, the he is uh, uh, the devil, man. Because it tells you in Revelation 12, the 12, it tells you, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. So this is the joy she heavens, man. You got the elect that are in heaven, the angels rejoice, man. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, meaning destruction, and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he know he have but a short time. And Esau is showing you his wrath now. This is the this is the lightweight part, the lightweight part of his wrath that he's showing you right now. You know, that real time of Jacob's trouble is coming where he start rolling on you and start busting in your doors and killing your family members on sight, man. You know, that's that real Jacob's trouble. Okay, this is the light, lightweight part of his wrath right here that you see uh, going down right now. So you're getting ready, you're getting ready to bring that, that fierce wrath, man. The devil, meaning what? Esau, the counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan on earth. Because he knows his time is short. Okay? They just saw a, uh, they had a, uh, a, uh, I guess a Hubble scope picture, a four second picture of, of uh, a object that was bigger than three planets come, coming towards Earth. So Esau know that it's one of the chariots of the Heavenly Father. They're, they're afraid. So they've been moving fast ever since they saw that, that uh, image. Okay? He knows they got a short time. And it's all the spirit and power Yahweh Shem Yahweh is making him do it. Okay? He's making him do it. He's making his pride level go up. When you reread the book of Job, the 20th chapter, okay? It goes into it. All right? Now, go into the word cause. Cause it means poor, poor yo, to make, to make with the name of a thing to produce. Are they not producing microchips? Yes. They have, they have billions of microchips, man, already produced, man. They have different companies, different companies that have, that has been their project for the for the, the last 20 or 30 years, producing microchips, man. Okay? Uh, make ready to prepare. Okay, so they're making ready and preparing these RFID chips, man. Okay, and it says, all, meaning everyone, every individual, okay? The whole, everybody, that's what it says. So Esau's gonna try to chip the whole planet, man. The new world order, okay? Bushnam spoke about it in the early 90s, okay? Reagan spoke about uh, fighting against alien forces, man. Trump talks about a space force. So they're getting ready, man, to, to battle against the Lord, man. The Esau want to have full control of everyone, man. Both small, small meaning what, of, of a statue, okay? It don't matter if you're young, a quantity, a rank of influence, don't matter. And great, don't matter if you're, you got you have a high ranking status in the in the society. Free and bump free. It says rich and poor. It don't matter if you're Warren Buffett or you the man that's laying on the corner down there. It don't matter. Right? To receive, receive is ditto ditto my to give something to someone, okay? If you give something to someone, it's physical, okay? To to one's own accord to give something to is an advantage. Esau gonna make it seem like it's an advantage if you had the chip, right? Because if you don't have it, they're saying like, basically, 
you're not gonna be able to buy or sell or trade. Okay? So Esau is setting it up for a famished condition to happen to the point where you're just gonna bow down to him and basically uh, take the, take this chip, man. Okay? Make the situation in the in the planet so bad that the people are gonna gonna call for call for Esau to bring the solution. Everything everything he does, he always the, see the reaction of the people, man. That's why this this uh, COVID nineteen man is just fake, man. They got they got the reaction that they wanted, man. Everybody is just sheeple. They're playing. They're being gathered, man, for the slaughter. Man. Okay. To let have to supply to furnish. To give, to deliver, to extend. Okay. A mark, karagma, a stamp, right? An imprinted mark, a mark stamp of the forehead or in the right hand is a badge of a follow of the Antichrist. Anti means what? Against the anointing. Okay. Against the anointing. A brand, a mark brand. Strong definition, a scratch or an etching that is a stamp as a badge of servitude. So if you take the RFID chip, guess what? You're gonna be under servitude under under this government, man. The more or less under the government, under uh, to, to to break it all the way down, you're gonna be under the under the rule of, of the elites, man. Okay? The Rothschilds, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Offenheimers, the Rockefellers, you'll be under their their uh control, man. 